I naturally got into ventriloquism when I was a kid, and this was before I ever even considered that this would be something that would blossom into a career. Um, certainly a career where I would be doing it full time. Um, ventriloquism, performing for people, is something that you do because it's fun. And you need to be willing to give it away. Uh, and give it away a lot. Um, I, I think it's probably just a bigger challenge for somebody that's a grown-up uh, to get started in doing ventriloquism, especially if their aspiration is to do it as a career. Uh, I actually have people that, that come up to me that say, oh, I've always wanted to do what you do. And um, my response to them, and it's somewhat tongue-in-cheek, but it also it really is true. I say, really? Because I never have. <laughs> um, and what I mean by that is I didn't just decide that this was what I wanted to do. It's at least not that I can remember. Does that make sense? Yes. It's just something that I've always done. And for me, it wasn't so much a decision. It was just something that was fun that just naturally blossomed into something uh, that actually became a career for me. So I think it's important that people don't get the cart before the horse, that you need to, first of all, decide, is this something that I really have fun with? And if I really enjoy it, it's just a part of who I am, then I'm going to be willing to do it for free for whoever will have me. Um, and this, this idea of, well, gee, I've got to make, a, I've got to make uh, money from this. Um, that's something that just organically happens, where if what you do is good and people are willing to pay for it, then, yeah, you can begin to actually charge money for that. But it's got to be something that you're just willing to do for nothing. Uh, before it can become something that you can actually charge for. I hope that makes sense. It makes makes perfect sense. <laughs>